Hi, my name is John Whitehead and I'm an executive and leadership coach. And thank you very much for joining me this week for my weekly video blog post. I appreciate it. This week I want to talk a little bit about core values. In my coaching practice, I've been coaching for about three and a half years now, one of the things that I have noticed as I've been coaching senior uh, emerging leaders in organizations and entrepreneurs is how few of them have actually done any work on their core values. Yeah, they may have done them, but it was years ago, but recently they haven't done anything, if at all. And through my coaching uh, of individuals, that might bubble to the surface. There's a realization that there's something missing there. Sometimes I'll just come right out and ask, when was the last time that you did some work on your core values? So what will happen is I'll put them through a process. I really strongly believe that core values is really what underpins us, isn't it? It's, it's how we uh, go out into the world and interact with the world. If our values are honesty, integrity, or they are fa it's family, or it's uh, being diligent, whatever those core values are for you. So with my university students in both the leadership class and the entrepreneurship class I teach, I make it a part, a unit in the, in the uh, term. I have them go online and do a uh, online survey where they can, they can uh, determine what their personal core values are. If I'm working with a client one-on-one, -on -one, I use a tool from Cousins and Posners called Value Cards, which are basically a deck of playing cards which have different values written on them, like trust, strength, health, etc. And they get to work through these, sorting them until they get to the core five values. Then I ask them to do an exercise. I ask them to take a look at their core values and for each one of the core values, write down or think about how those values inform how they work or how they play, how they manage their lives, how they lead their teams, interact with their family. So they look at, for example, the calendar. How does that value, how is that value reflected or how does it inform their calendar? Um, when critical incidents occur, when things happen in their life, how does, do their values interact with that? The stories, how do they express their values in the stories they tell, in the com communications and conversations they have with others, the language they use, you know, the power, the words that we use have power. Are the words we use reflecting what our value system is to and what our core values are? An interesting one is measure. How do we measure or how do we receive or give feedback based on our values? How do our values inform how we do that even? And finally, rewards. How are we rewarding ourselves? What are our rewards in terms of our values? whether we're rewarding ourselves or rewarding others. So, for example, measurement is one of the ones that my students have the toughest time with, or measurements and feedback. So, for example, if one of your values is self-control, it's self-awareness, um, how, how can you measure that to see how, what impact that's having on others or how you're shifting a behavior? Those are all things as a coach I work with with my clients. So that's a little bit about values. And again, being a leader means knowing what your values are because that's what drives you. That's what undergirds you. And that's why it's, it's so important to what, know what those are. If you'd like to know more about that, learn more about it, or you're interested in your own, what your own values are, Feel free to make a comment in the comment section below this video and I'm happy to respond. Or you can go to my website and uh, send me a message and I'm more than happy to have a conversation with you. So again, thank you very much for joining me this week and uh, we'll talk to you again soon.